Oh uh, yeah, look at that. 2020 Yamaha MT-09 is all done. Fully modded. I just put on some new mods. Can you tell what they are? Yeah, buddy, this bike is looking proper. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through before i show you the new mods on my mt09 i want you guys to stay safe out there Make sure you get an airbag vest. This is gonna help protect your spine, your vital organs, help stabilize your neck, keep you from having a real effed up day. I have a link to this one that I never leave home without in the description and comment section of this video along with my other gear, like my most favorite helmet, carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, my motovlog camera, Sadichi jacket, gloves, boots, all my gear. You know what guys? I tell you, man, I got the two best motorcycles right here, guys. I, that, that's all I need, man, right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got the torque bikes here. Boy, this is the wheelie machine here, my 2019 YZ450 FX Custom Supermoto, which I did a full build series on. I have a video link in the description and comment section of this video. Oh, I love this bike, guys. I love this bike, too, man. But this is my favorite, number one. Number two right here, guys. I tell you, I, I, oh, this is an amazing bike, man. It's got all that bottom end grunt that you want for the streets, you know, zero to 100. That's what you want, guys. I'm telling you out here on the urban streets, lightweight, but when it's mod, it's like, what, 410 pounds or something like that. In my opinion, I like this better over the MT-10. It's better looking, it's lightweight. Um, it's got all the grunt down low, sounds amazing. <laughs> You get that nice, beautiful triple cylinder engine everybody loves on this bike. But anyways, can you see the new mods I did on this bike, guys? Can you see them? None of them big, ugly, orange stock turn signals. <laughs> Look at these. TST Industries. And this has the uh, running lights on it. I'm going to show you here in a second. Let me turn the bike on so you can see what it looks like. All right, see, it's got the daytime running lights on there. You can get in different colors, by the way. I have a link to all the mods that I did on this bike in the description and comment section of this video. Or you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on My Mods. Okay, let's, yeah, look at that. Nice and bright. Look at that, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Also, check it out. Added the license plate light. I did a how-to video on this. It'll be coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. That's looking proper now. Now I don't have to worry about riding at night and getting pulled over by the police. So we're all good, nice and legal. Of course, I got the. I did this before the fender eliminator kit, which I did a video on, by the way, with the TST Industry tail light with integrated turn signals. See there? Look at that, looking proper. And also, when you hit the brake on this, check it out. When you hit the brake on there, look at that. Yeah, it modulates. Help keep you safe. So the car is behind you. It gets their attention. Help keep you safe. Yeah, buddy. And of course, you know, the other mods that I did on this bike, previously I put on the Sargent aftermarket seat that has the toolbox uh, storage box underneath and it comes with a flashlight. Pretty cool, looks cool, makes the bike look even better. But the best mod that I did on this bike, guys, which I recommend everybody do, especially if you get a 2017 and newer MT-09, is you gotta put the full Akrapovich exhaust, guys. Full, I did a video on how to install this, so go check that. I have the video link in the description and comment section of this video. But more importantly, I flashed the ECU on this bike. And with the full exhaust and the ECU flash, which by the way, I did a video on how to flash the ECU. And I have a link to the device in the description and comment section of this video. Very easy to flash the ECU yourself. You don't have to send it away and then you can't use your bike until you get it back and all that crap. No. You just get the ECU flasher, do it in less than what, in less than 10 minutes it takes? 
super easy, but I'll tell you, the bike is night and day better, man. Completely opens the bike up and absolutely awesome, guys. Oh my God. Uh, you can disable the AIS as well, so you don't even have to remove the AIS. Because before I disabled it, I was getting the backfire sound, which some of you guys like, but it's kind of annoying to me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like that diesel pop. And of course, I got some other mods here, like the GoPro Hero camera mount. Awesome. Stays on there solid, never had a problem. And this phone mount here, which is really awesome. Um, which you can turn it vertical or horizontal, as you see here. Keeps it nice and tight on there. I use my Waze app on there. Like I said, links to everything in the description and comment section of this video. See, that looks good, nice and clean. And um, to be honest with you guys, that's really all I wanted to do to this bike. I don't, I don't want to do anything else. I'm not like you guys and just pour a bunch of money, you know, into the bike. To me, it's, it's stupid to put on. Uh, you know levers these levers work just fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna put on aftermarket like bar and mirrors Which I did on the Aprilia Tuono um, Just because I, I you know The bar and mirrors are fine. I have it on my my YZ 450 FX, which it looks awesome It works pretty good works good, but honestly, I, I like the look of these and I like having more mirror here to see more and back of you so I, I it's all about safety to me, guys. I don't need to have some little fancy, tiny little bar and mirrors on there to look cool. I, want, I actually want to see cars behind me, man. <laughs> Which I see fine with those. Don't get me wrong, man. But these are much nicer, the OEM ones. So, um, And some of you guys put the fly screen on there. To me, it's not a big deal, guys. I, I It looks good. It does make the bike look better. Don't get me wrong. But... Um, I don't know, man. I may put it on there, may or may not. Um, but as far as there's no wind issues for me on the highway, I know some of you guys put that great big windscreen on there. Uh, you know, hey, to each his own. The big ones look stupid to me, but it's not all about be, you know looking cool though. It's whatever makes you comfortable. That's all that matters. But for me, it's perfect the way it is, man. In the future, when I change my tires out, I'll probably get some Pirelli Angel GTs. Those are my favorite street tires because they last a long time. They grip well. These stock tires are okay. You know, I'll, I'll rock them out until they're worn out. So what do you guys think? Does it look cool or what, man? Is this a good looking bike or what? I think it looks really cool. Some of you guys think it looks ugly. Some of you guys think it looks really cool. I think it looks cool. You know, I don't care about the looks though. I just, it's more about having fun on the bike. Like I said, that's my number one most fun bike right there. The wheelie machine, ride up staircases, ride off road. Just a total hooligan bike. And this is my number two hooligan bike right here. It's all about torque, baby. Torque. Yeah. Looking proper. Also, guys, it's been a long time since I told you about this uh, Montague folding bike. I did a review on this uh, a few years ago. Um, it, it's a bike that actually folds up, and you can put it into a, a bag here. You can, it folds up into this bag, guys. And you can carry it on your shoulders, man. Put it in your trunk really easy. And this is a really cool bike, man. I've had this for a few years, and I just rode it the other day. Took it on a single track trail in our Metro Park system, which was pretty fun. I did a video on that. You might want to go check out. And uh, overall, I say this is a pretty, pretty cool bike, man. I have a link to this bike in the description and comment section of this video where you can pick one up. Pretty cool, man. And as far as my golf cart, dude, <laughs> this is my utility. This really, this is kind of like my utility tool cart, uh, motorized basically, because this thing helps me get a lot of yard work done, man. And so that I can do more riding out here on the streets. And, uh, but I've done some modding to this. I'm not gonna do a build series. I'm just gonna do a before and after video because I showed you the unveiling of this. Uh, when I first got it, I paid 700 bucks off of Craigslist. And I just put some new mods on here. Just put this new roof rack on here, which I customized the fit on here. See, it's on there nice and solid and uh, absolutely awesome. When I do the uh, before and after video, I'll include links to everything, but put a stereo system in here. You got the speaker pods here, the stereo system there. And I got some new LED lights that I'm putting on, probably a couple of sets. I put on 
I uh, got a new um, Optima battery there for it for the uh, stereo system and the lights just so I don't run down the power on the cart. Um, I did get a new seat that folds out into a bed which is right there I have yet to put on it and I'm gonna paint this I'm gonna plasti dip the body black and I'm painting this black and I'm pa painting the roof black and uh, I have my uh, I have my smartphone here that I just put right here on the steering wheel, which I like because I do Bluetooth music to the stereo system while I'm doing yard work. I'm going to be painting this seat so it's not this ugly, shiny black. And if I don't like the look of that, I may just put uh, recover the seats. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and paint these hubcaps here, but I may get a new wheel set. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I didn't plan on putting a whole lot of money into this, man. Um, just the basics. To be honest with you, just the way this is, when I put the new seat on, I could probably flip this for $3,500. And I only paid, what, $700? Bucks. And the parts for this, I think, spent no more than, what, $500 bucks or less for the parts. So I could actually flip this and make a nice profit on this, but I'm not because I... The main reason I got this is to get through yard work a lot easier. So I can throw big bags of uh, you know, tree clippings and leaves, just throw a few bags up here. Then I put a garbage can on back of here that I strap up to the back so it makes it really easy to ride around and just dump leaves in there and tree trimmings and stuff. And uh, it's been amazing, I love this thing. But anyways guys, so what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, man. I love talking with you guys. Appreciate all you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. And also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.